Alhamdulillah, we have completed Tafsir of Surah al Hujurat. I thought it is better, <coughs> maybe more profitable for us if we just review the whole Surah today and uh, then go back and study. Uh, I have divided this into five segments from Ayat 1 to 5 deals with the etiquette with the Prophet Wasallam. Uh, how we behave with him, uh, not be forward, not raise our voice, not disturbing at the time of his privacy. And that applies in our daily life with our elders, with our parents, with our teachers, with those people with the, we are working with our colleagues. Uh, then second part, Ayat 6 to 10, is a social etiquette for the community. And uh, here, uh, important thing is the verification of the news. When the news comes, we should verify and we should not jump to conclusion. We should not take emotional relation, uh, emotional steps. Uh, also important thing here is <coughs> social. <coughs> For, for the community is obedience to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And it is a favor of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that he has uh, uh, sent his messenger and given him the best uh, morals and he is the best teacher. Uh, acceptance of that fact, then the mission of the Muslims uh, that we establish peace among us, and if there is a war, we should try to extinguish the fire of war, a war that Muslims are a brotherhood, and <coughs> that brotherhood should always promote goodwill. The third group deals in the personal relationships. The personal relationships, that is, could be our individual relationships, that could be our community relationships, and the important thing in these relationships is that we should respect the other people, not to ridicule them, not to name them, not to laugh at them. And another uh, <coughs> important lesson there is that we should have good feeling and good thought. Prophet said, Zannul Mu'minina Khairan, always think about your brother in terms <coughs> of the goodness. And an evil thought is bad, and uh, sometimes it may be very sinful, and, and the thought may lead to certain actions which become even worse. Not spying, that is respecting the privacy. That's such an important thing. Now we have lost that privacy to the internet, to the satellites, uh, to the multimedia. Uh, just the uh, other day, uh, someone I was explaining here, that there is something has come which is beyond Google's. Google, you do the search, and there you don't have to do the search. You just put the finger, and all that information is available. And that is come there. Next thing in technology is not in the research stage, but it will be very much in the market. Uh, so, still, uh, mm, uh, in terms of our personal relationship, we should not try to overhear, to whisper to spy, to backbite, these are kind of social evils uh, that uh, we as a community must avoid in our relationship and in relationship with other human beings also. Uh, Ayah 13 stands on its own and it is a kind of declaration by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of human dignity and equality. This is the declaration at which I feel even that Jefferson was read the Quran, the inspiration for the declaration of independence called We hold these truths as self evident that all men are created equal. So that kind of equality concept which did not exist and, and which accepts the differences but they are for, for our introduction, knowing each other. Otherwise, we are a big human brotherhood. Our God is one God, and this humanity is one humanity, 
and the preference if there is is through righteous actions. Then there's 14 to 18 ayah. Uh, sorry, this 13 is the only ayah, not up to 18. Uh, is a very important lesson that our gratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for showing us the path of Islam, for enriching and strengthening our hearts and our mind with the, with the faith and defining what faith is that we do not have any doubts, our firmness in faith that we should struggle with our life, with our resources, with our money, with our time, with our intellect in his path. That is what faith is. And it is a favor of Allah. It is not our favor to Allah, our favor to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our favor to community, but it is his favor if he chooses us to do his will. And that is something we should as a modest, modestly accept. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, there are doubts in our own minds and hearts. Sometimes there are doubts about the truth of Islam itself or truth of a saying. That is something that either we clarify them with those who have the knowledge or submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask to clarify. And I have my own experience in that respect and the experience uh, of so many people. Uh, Ibrahim alayhi salam asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I want to see how you will revive those people, those who died. And then he said, don't you believe? He said, no, I want to strengthen my faith. So sometimes things we need to strengthen our faith, but faith should be unwavering in the truth of the Quran, in the message of Islam, and in the seerah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it is a favor of Allah. That, that he places in our heart, but we have also to struggle. In a hadith which Allah SWT says, anybody who comes toward me, I go many times more toward that person. That if in our terminology, if somebody comes by feet, I come by yard, closer. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala who is responsive, and so, but we have also to be uh, obedient, and we have to move toward that also. So this is a kind of comprehensive plan in this surah, <coughs> Surah al Bujurat, which is 49 surah, Alhamdulillah, which has 18 ayat, and it deals with various dimensions of our relationship with our elders, with each other, with the community, with the humanity at large. May Allah give us tawfiq that we imbibe the message in our life, because that is the essence, and I'm giving you this sheet that uh, you could uh, uh, look at it, go back, read this surah, and try to memorize it because it's a really a beautiful surah and it must be read again and again. That is what Quran is, recitation. Uh, things are repeated and every time they are repeated in a more beautiful manner. Jazakallah, Allahumma, Nabi Quran, Nabi Quran, Amalana, Sallallahu Ta'ala, Ala Khairi Khalti. Wa alihi wa sahbihi 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 w